Tesla's research and development facility in Shanghai is near to being completed. It will be the first R&D center built outside the United States. The progress of the $25,000 Tesla vehicle development is also proceeding parallel to this. A major portion of the credit can go to the Chinese research facility. Many jobs relevant to vehicle design, hardware design, vehicle software, powertrain engineering, material engineering, vehicle engineering, and research engineering operations are also being offered by this R&D center. One example of this is the vacancy announced by Tesla China for an R&D operations specialist in the prototype shop, a research operations specialist lab expert. Many other job openings for technicians, designers, and engineers were also posted. The Chinese Research Center may not be fully operational yet, but the Tesla China R&D team seems to be functioning quite well. It's being rumored by many reliable sources that Tesla China has finished producing a prototype of the $25,000 EV. This affordable small EV is highly anticipated and turned into a rumor when the plans for the Chinese R&D center were first announced. The president of Tesla China, Tom Zhu, announced in the past that the new research facility would be made in close proximity to Giga Shanghai. It would be aiming at making the original Tesla models aimed at the Chinese market. These would then be manufactured in China, but also sold to the rest of the world. When Mr. Zhu announced that the $25,000 EV would be sold all over the world, many sources were quick to state that this compact Tesla would be in trial production before 2021 ends. The authenticity of the rumor is fueled by the fact that Tesla has opened a position for an R&D operations specialist expert for the prototype shop. It plays an integral role in preparing the compact EV and its trial production runs. Overseeing the manufacturing line build and the engineering prototype shop layout are among the top responsibilities of the role. It means that the new person hired would also be looking over the prototype manufacturing, car bodies, car exteriors, interiors, powertrain, chassis, and other integral components. According to an economic assessment report prepared on Giga Shanghai, it has been stated that Tesla could start the production of the $25,000 EV in 2022. It is a very optimistic year and very, very close to reality. The track record of Tesla China shows that it has always been able to achieve beyond the goals it set and never minces words. However, there has been no official statements made by Tesla China on this particular issue. Tesla has been performing considerably well in China and has been facing real competition only from the highly cheap Wuling Mini EV made in collaboration with General Motors. It is the only EV to sell more than the Tesla Model Y and Model 3. If Tesla successfully produces the $25,000 EV, it will be able to attract a whole new market segment, not only in China, but in the rest of the world. Some battery cost declines have been identified by ARK Invest, which is a well-known Tesla bull. It has been stated as good deflation that will, in turn, lead to more Tesla EV sales. ARK Invest uses the 2022 Nissan Leaf EV sales as a support to the whole argument. Nissan made an announcement some years back that Leaf SV and SV 2016 models would be having a 30 kWh battery pack as the standard option. This would give the EV an EPA-rated range of 107 miles. The prices of the two variants were $32,200 US dollars for the SV and $36,790 US dollars for the SL variant. A calculation made by ARC revealed that the same Nissan Leaf 2016 would have a price of $39,000 today when adjusted to inflation. However, when we look at the current prices of the 2022 Nissan Leaf, this is not the case. Nissan gives the Leaf a 40 kilowatt hour battery that puts the EV's price at $27,400, which is $11,600 cheaper than the price of the EV back in 2016. The range of the 2022 Nissan Leaf is 42 miles more than the 2016 model. The price of the Nissan Leaf shows that producing an EV today has a lesser cost 
than it was five years ago, while the range is considerably higher now. Reduction in the cost of producing a battery is the main propellant behind decreased EV price and increased range. This in turn has a positive effect on the sales. The sales then expand the overall EV market. In contrast to this good deflation of EVs, there is the occurrence of bad deflation for used internal combustion engine vehicles. As the demand is lowering day by day, so are their prices. This price decline has been happening every week now. The used car market for electric vehicles has seen growth in the present times. Tesla is a leader in the new car market with the Tesla Model 3. This same EV remains to be dominant in the used EV market. Many governments all over the world have also decided to give tax rebates and credits to everyone deciding to buy a used EV. Such tax rebates and reliefs are part of the vision taken by the countries to decrease their carbon emissions. Tesla is making good use of this particular situation. It's boosting the research and development of the $25,000 EV. Implementation of the goal is only possible when Tesla can reduce the battery production costs drastically. This would be possible as proven by the drop in the Nissan Leaf prices. The 2020 impact report by Tesla states that the payload of the Tesla semi-truck would be comparable to the diesel trucks of the Class 8 category. This estimate of the payload addresses a very ongoing concern about the Tesla Semi. It was believed to be an impossible task earlier by some Tesla critics as the weight capacity was thought to be very limited. A variation of the total weight load may be there on average as there is an 80,000 pounds limit on Class A trucks. This 80,000 pounds also includes the payload as well as the weight of the truck itself. The weight of the battery packs would be a prime consideration in working out the 80,000 pound capacity on top of the payload and the truck. The lesser payload would be taken onto trucks with heavier batteries. A prediction made by Tesla critics and analysts concluded that the Tesla Semi would need a 60 kilowatt hour to 1000 kilowatt hour battery pack to make 300 miles and 500 miles range versions. With the Tesla's 100 kilowatt hour battery pack weighing 1,300 pounds, a 600 kilowatt hour battery pack will weigh 8,000 pounds. These parameters have since changed, and Tesla has developed the 4680 battery cell technology, which allows the EV maker to produce battery cells that have a higher energy density but a lower weight. This will in turn make the electric semi much lighter. There have also been many changes in the international trucking industry since 2017. The European Union and the United States have been working on regulations that will include electric trucks into the mainstream. Another thing mentioned in the 2020 impact report was that the EV and US have approved the allowance of electric trucks with more weight than the diesel equivalents in Class 8. Electric trucks can be 4,400 pounds or 2 tons heavier in the EU and 2,000 pounds or 0.9 tons heavier in the United States. This may be enough to cater to the additional weight of the battery packs on electric trucks, such as the Tesla Semi. Tesla's pushed back the Semi's production for quite some time since unveiling it back in 2017. The main reason for this, as mentioned by Elon Musk, is the issue faced in battery cell production. Other factors which arose due to the pandemic, such as the semiconductor chip shortages and supply chain constraints, have also played their part in the delays of the semi. The second quarter update letter for 2021 has stated that the production speeds of such projects are highly influenced by the introduction of new products and technologies related to the production of the project proper. Supply chain challenges and permission restraints in different regions cannot be neglected either. Tesla has had no other option but to take the semi project to 2022 for now. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.